hey you guys welcome back to another video i know y'all have been lost in action m-i-a missing in action i've been out of here y'all but i'm gonna tell y'all the whole story in a minute so if you are new to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up share this video with anyone and everyone you know and feel free to leave me a comment okay let me say my grace first before i get to talking Amen. So today what I have is some noodles. Just noodles. Oodles and oodles and noodles, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's smoking still, so it's so hot I can't eat it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start talking first. Look. Look at it smoking. I'm going to start talking first. Let that cool off a little bit. I'd be a fool to put that in my mouth. So let me do this first. Um, I'm on this apple cider vinegar. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but, you know, it ain't nothing good. Cause, I mean, I don't even like green tea. So I'm going to go ahead and drink this first. I got my cup here, y'all. And so far, I've only been doing it for a few days. I just started on it, so I'm documenting everything. And then I'll... Um, I'll blog it when I'm done. I'm not going to show my stomach either. I ain't showing y'all my stomach. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Got to be. Uh-uh. I'm going to show it when I'm done. I'm going to show I already took pictures of it. I already measured it. I already got pictures before. So what I'll do, if everything works, I'm going to do this for one month and see how it works. One month. But guess what? If it don't work and my stomach's still in the same place that it is in now, within one month, it ain't went down none. It ain't got rid of none of it. I ain't saying nothing else, y'all. If y'all can read between the lines. I ain't showing y'all my junk like that and ain't nothing happened to it. Just big and nasty looking. No. She ain't doing that. So, I got my... Y'all know I be talking that trash about that organic. But the brags only come in organic. So, that's why I had to get it. <laughs> organic vinegar. I'ma use... I'm, let me move this for a minute. I'm gonna use one tablespoon. Ain't nothing in this cup. But water. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon of vinegar, organic vinegar. One tablespoon. Then I'm gonna use a very small teaspoon of baking powder. Uh-uh. Baking soda, I'm sorry. Just a little bit. It's going to sizzle. I always like when they do that. Then I'm going to add some water. Now, I don't use a full cup. I just measure in this little red cup. I keep this little red cup. And I fill it up to one of these lines in here that I normally use. That's about good right there. Because I want it, I want it to work. I want to see what it's gonna do. So I don't put too much water. Maybe I don't know if I need to add more water or not. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. And if it don't work out one way, then I said I'm gonna try it again another way. And um I haven't eaten anything. I ain't really had no appetite, so I don't know if it's because lately I just haven't had an appetite. Period. Got my cold water right there, but I'm gonna drink it with a straw because I don't want the vinegar to mess up my teeth. So that's why I'm gonna drink it with a straw. And you know, if you put that vinegar, it, it'll look like you um, drink coffee. Messed up your enamel on your teeth, the vinegar will. Same as lemons. Like if you eat raw lemons, it'll mess your enamel up on your teeth. Okay, so here we go. Just a little bit. Not good at all. It wouldn't be so bad if I had a baking soda in there. 
but you know that baking soda um take away gas and bloatness in your stomach and all that stuff like that my auntie Susan used to have baking soda everywhere she goes she's keeping it in her purse and if she ran out when she come to your house give me some baking soda she didn't use nothing else i mean she may have used you know like over-the-counter medicine but she was i mean dead set on that baking soda Not good. Oh, we're done with that. Let me see what time it is. It is. Oh. It's late. Oh my goodness. 10 04 p.m. So I gotta write this down, y'all. 10 04 p.m. My little, my little diary. Okay. Let me get my noodles back. Let me see if I can eat some now. I had opened up the pack of noodles and when I opened them up, I put them in the pot on top of the stove. I don't ever put mine in the microwave. Kids do, but I put mine on the stove. So I was throwing away the trash um, from the noodles. How about I throw away the pack with the, the noodle sauce in it, the seasoning? So I just had to put some chicken bouillon in it, y'all. I threw the packs in the trash and I was not about to dig in there and get them out because there's some wet stuff down in there, so I wasn't finna do it. But it's actually pretty good with that chicken bouillon. So yeah, y'all, I've been missing for a minute. I tried to do a little, well, I did one of them, my little intro. Um, after that, I did another one, a small, maybe like 20 minute video. It was only just pictures, but guess what? YouTube took it down. I was talking in it, but I was in the bed while I was talking. And um, I, I guess I violated YouTube rules and regulation and they took that video down. And I couldn't think, like, oh, what in the hell? There's only pictures of my family, me and my kids, and, you know, my family on there. She wasn't paying no attention, y'all. I told y'all I've been sick, been out of it. I wasn't paying no attention. Guess what I did? I had pictures of the kids in pampers with no shirt on. <laughs> yeah, for real. I didn't know. I didn't even pay attention to what I did. And me and me were talking about one day. And she was like, well, Mom, what? I <laughs> Don't even finish asking me that question because I don't know what I did. That's what I did. Some of them, my pictures, and there's about three or four of them in there with the kids. They had on their diapers and no shirt, T-shirt. You know, they two and three years old. Well, not three, but two. One and two. And uh, my grandbaby, Cairo, I had one in there when he was in the tub playing. I mean, but you couldn't see none. You just, you know, you could just see he was full of bubbles, just full of bubbles. But I think that's what it was. So I had to delete that one quick. So this is my first one back, y'all. I actually miss talking to y'all for real. Ooh. So let me tell y'all what happened. Y'all know I've been having sinus infection back to back. One gone, another one coming, one gone, another one coming. Or at least that's what I thought it was, sinus. Um, <clears throat> a month ago, my right ear was hurt real bad. And 
remember when I told you, oh, well, I don't know if I told y'all, but I had a sinus infection a couple of months ago, and then my doctor gave me some antibiotics. Okay, blah, 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 fast forward to the next time. And about a month after she gave me those antibiotics, I ended up having that, it came back, another sinus infection. So that time she gave me a Z pack. Okay, so that it came back. So fast forward again to this previous time, what happened? So one night I just end up going to the mercy room. I thought it was another sign of infection. I figured they were gonna give me something, give me a shot for the pain, and um, just some antibiotics to get rid of it. Uh, but when I got to the hospital, y'all, my blood pressure was 170 over 97. I was. I thought I was about to die. My head was hurting me so bad. My ear was the worst it had ever been in my life. Y'all, it felt like somebody was kicking me and like I was laying down and couldn't move. Like they were just thumping me in my ear with some boots on. High top boots, steel toe boots, whatever. But all I know is the pain was horrific. Then it would be like a real quick pain, like a shooting pain that would shoot through my ear like a bolt of lightning. And it would just shoot through that real fast. And I couldn't do nothing. And it'll leave. It may not come back for 15 minutes. It may not come back for an hour, two hours, three hours. It may not come back to the next day. It just periodically, that's what it did. So I have been dealing with this for months now. Basically this year, this whole year, off and on, off and on. And I'm I'm normally, I'm used to having sinus infection. That's what I do. Normally I have about two of them. When the, when the weather changing, like from winter to spring, I'll get one. And then normally when the weather, weather changing from um, spring to summer, I get another sinus infection. So what I normally do is if my doctor don't give me enough antibiotics and if it's on a weekend holiday or something like that, I go to the emergency room, they give me a shot, give me some antibiotics, and I used to be good. But it lingered on so bad to, it got so bad. It, it was, I don't know, I ain't never experienced that pain before in my life. So anyway, let me make a long story short, I don't want to keep dragging it out so when i got to the emergency room like i said my blood pressure was high i do not have high blood pressure my blood pressure is always the perfect blood pressure i'm always like 113 119 120 121 i'm always somewhere in that range right there but um they did the ekg and all that and it didn't look right so the lady was like hmm. i said wait a minute man are you scared me what's going on let, what, do you know how to read that thing and she was like well let me do it again she did it again she said oh I said, wait, now you scared me. I was scared the hell out of me now. And so she said, well, let me get your doctor. So your doctor come in here, you know, um, doctor going to talk to you. Well, I said, well, can you tell me what, what's going on? She would never tell me. So I got scared. I knew it was something out of the ordinary than what I thought it was, you know. So the doctor came in and they looked at him, whatever. And um, she was like, um, they was going to have to keep me. Um, because looks like I had a heart attack. I said, oh, a heart attack? Who? Yeah, y'all, she had a whole heart attack at the age of 48 years old. Um, oh, yeah, let me rewind it. Let me rewind because I got to go back because this particular time, I never had jaw pain, but my jaw was hurting too. My right jaw, it was killing me all under here and under my ear uh, here and all down here. My jaw was hurting so bad, I, I couldn't do them but hold it. It was, it, uh, the pain was just terrible, y'all. But anyways, um... So I ended up staying in the hospital. They ended up giving me the worst ever. The worst experience ever. COVID got everything messed up. Nobody can't come in the hospital. They didn't want to let nobody in. And then, I I mean, I was able to talk to my sister. And um, they did say she could come for a little while or whatever. But she hadn't already left because they told her she couldn't come. So it's just not a good feeling to be in that hospital right now. You ain't got nobody in there that got your back. And, you know, I was trying not to worry about it until I find out exactly what was going on and how bad it was, whatever. Um, apparently, they saying that I had already had it, you know, uh, when I got there. That I guess, you know, from everything lingering on and lingering on. And something I wanted to tell y'all ladies, I don't know if everybody know, but women, when you have, um, and I know some of y'all probably already know, but when we have um, signs of a heart attack, they get the phone trying to mess up again. When we have signs of a heart attack, it's different than men. And I had no idea that it was different. I thought that everybody would be just clenching their um, chest. But it's not always like that for women. Women have jaw pain, toothaches. I didn't know that. I really didn't. 
I know one thing. I couldn't rest in there every, it seemed like every two minutes. I know it wasn't that soon, but they was taking me out. I was, I ain't never took that many tests before in my life, really. And so that second day when I was there, I remember I finally could get up and I dragged that stuff with me because they had IV and stuff in my hand. I dragged it to the door and my, my door was right in front of the nurse's station. And when I opened it up, she looked at me and she said, yes, ma'am, can I help you? I said, I want to go home. <laughs> when can I go home? Please get me out of this place. Oh my God, I couldn't sleep. Oh, geez, I'm so glad when I came home, I didn't know what to do. But I'm not on no strict diet or anything. I take an aspirin a day. Uh, that's it. Like, that food that they gave me in the hospital, even though it wasn't good. Um, but I just, I, I ordered whatever. You know, I still couldn't eat it, though. I couldn't eat it. But, um, yeah, so I just been trying to, I go back to work. Actually, today is Saturday. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make my business to upload this video tonight, y'all. When I get off, when I stop talking to y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. So today is Saturday, and I go back to work Monday. I go back to work Monday. Yep. Ooh. That's a scary feeling, though. To be in that hospital. Ain't nobody can't be there. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Scary feeling. So, y'all make sure y'all be careful and watch out for those signs. Um, you thinking you having a jaw pain or a real bad toothache, it can be, you know, um, it ain't, I, I do know that cardiac arrest and heart attack is two different things, but, um, I mean, one can lead to the other, the heart attack can lead to cardiac arrest, so, just beware of those signs, that's all I can say. Yeah, and then the heart specialist that came in there, he actually, he actually was a um, I could tell whoever his patients are, they must like going to him because he was he he stayed in that room for about an hour and talked to me. You know, normally they come in there and they they do what they got to do, take whatever test they got to take, and then they out of there. So he's the heart specialist that the the doctor, my doctor was, had to call in because all the other tests they didn't like none of the other tests, whatever. I got minor, just minor heart damage, not you know nothing really big um so they had to call in him because of the all the other test results they were still showing the same thing they called in the heart specialist and he the one that determined if i got to go home or not so once i was able to go home i was glad but he told me a lot of good information he was like a lot of his patients believe it or not you know people think heart attack oh you eat too much salt oh you eat pork um and everything else you know that's the first thing even even look even some people that know me even some of my family members that know me you got to start eating right okay how do i eat wrong i eat what i like that's what i eat but if there's no wrong way that i'm eating because if i eat something and don't agree with me I, I can't eat it no more and i don't eat it you know or if it's something i like i don't like i don't eat and i never just overdo it you know so how am i eating wrong is what i say um, but what he explained to me was, it's not always the case, y'all. It's not always just only high blood pressure. It's not only what you eat. Um, it's a variety of things, different things that people have heart attacks from different things. And mine was due to a lot of pressure in my ear, my head. It was built up over a period of months. It just didn't go away. I may be immune to the uh, antibiotics, which means that they work while I'm on them. But then once I'm done taking them, once those 10 days, 14 days or whatever it is, it's up. Like the Z-Pack was only six days. 
days. Yeah, six days. But once that time frame is up, then it seems like whatever it is, it's right back again. So um, I may be immune to the antibiotics. Um, they may have to give me a different type of antibiotics or something else. Uh, I don't know. So I got to get all that checked out. Um, and I like to, I, I pivot. I'm sorry. Let me go back. And so um, what he was saying about, you know, the heart attack or whatever, but he was just saying that it's different for everybody. It's not the same for everybody. It depends on you. Depends on your body, your lifestyle, what you do and what you don't do. Because a lot of healthy people have heart attacks. And I consider myself pretty healthy. Um, I don't do a lot of working out or nothing like that, but I do consider myself pretty healthy. I don't eat a lot of, I don't, most of the time I don't even cook with salt. When I fry chicken, I do, but I don't eat fried chicken and fried pork chop and all that. I don't eat that often. When I get a taste for it, I do. Other than that, you know, I don't eat it every week. Sometimes I don't even have it that month, you know. Um, but yeah, even people that work out a lot or whatever, they end up in the healthy as they can be and eat good. He said, he says some of them just some, some of them don't even eat meat at all. Like no meat eaters, only vegetables or whatever. Um, they work out every day or whatever and still had a heart attack. So you just never know what's meant for you, what's coming from you until you get it until it happened and then they try to go and see what caused it to prevent it from doing it again that's what you know you just can't know in your head like well if i do this or i don't do this or whatever i want to have no heart attack up and i do this i gotta eat right or whatever okay so what about the people that do eat right um according to whoever says that eating right is eating right but but what about those people that do eat right? What about those people that exercise daily because they want to get it in, want to make sure they're healthy, they want to make sure their body healthy, make sure, okay, what about those people and they still drop down with a heart attack? Heart attack? That, you don't know. You just never know. So one thing I can say is I'm thankful to God to be here because I wasn't ready to go yet, y'all. Ew, I wasn't ready to go. No, 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 no. I wasn't ready to go because that pain was that pain was terrible in my ear. I thought I, I'm telling you, you just don't know what, you don't know what death is. You don't know what it feel like. And you can't come back and tell nobody what it feel like when you're gone. So every time something real bad like that happen, I, you just, you just think it's like your last time. I do. Oh Lord, it might be here. I would like Fred Sample. Ooh Lord. But the only thing I would say, Elizabeth, I ain't coming to see you. Not yet. I ain't ready yet, Elizabeth. I ain't ready yet, Elizabeth. No. Nah. uh I was praying so hard, I was, I was begging God, don't take me here. I was begging the Lord not to take me, y'all. I was scared to close my eyes. I was scared to go to sleep. Then they had and gave me that medicine, try to get rid of some of that pain. I was fighting the doggone medicine. Usually, I'd I, I be ready to get it so I can sleep. But this particular time, because they had admitted me, I did not want to go to sleep. And they had already gave it to me. I had to get it. I said, Lord, just let me see here. Please let me be here, Lord. I got to see my child. I want to, I want to, I want to make sure Maya grow up and get grown. I want to make sure I got her and make sure she know who you is and pass on to her kids. And I was talking to the Lord. Y'all hear me? I ain't lying. I was like, I wanted to make sure my grandkids get older and I want to see them get older. I want to be able to, you know, pass the torch down to them to know so they can know who Jesus is to take him with them everywhere they go. they young black boys. We got to have them. They need them. I'm shaking the table. I'm sorry. Ooh, she's shaking the table. Y'all know K. Michelle said that. But I was praying so hard. I'm still here, y'all. So I live to see another day. And I owe it all to God. All of it. All of it. And I'm grateful. And y'all see, I ain't hardly eating none of them noodles. I can't eat it. <laughs> Sorry. I ain't got no appetite. My first two days taking this uh, apple cider vinegar. When I started with this. I just started Thursday, y'all. I just started Thursday. And so I did it Thursday and Friday. And this morning. 9 o'clock to 9 8 this morning. I ain't got no appetite. It's, it's starting to take my appetite away. I know me cat did it one time before, but then she had got off of it because she was like, it had started making her stomach hurt. And it took her appetite because she couldn't hardly eat. And then that made her even sicker because she couldn't eat. She didn't have no appetite to eat. Like that first day, 
that when I started, and that Friday when I took it, uh, Friday morning, Friday night, I was like, oh, girl, oh, what you talking about? I'm good. I said, who big girl, still hungry. I was going in the kitchen and snacking on this and snacking on that. I can't even snack now. Can't even eat noodles. So, <laughs> I don't even want to smell them either. <laughs> so, I can't do it. I can't do it, y'all. But I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all what had happened to me. And y'all will be seeing more of me soon, okay? All right. As soon as I'm able to eat again. But like I say, I got to be careful. Y'all make sure y'all be careful too by what y'all put on YouTube. Cause, woo, baby. Woo, I ain't even been doing this thing that long. They already then took down one of my videos. So, hello. I know not to put no music up unless it's my own or whatever. Like that music, that um, the rap, the gospel rap song that I normally have at the end of my video. That's my brother's song. So, I know I'm good with that. Um, but I, other than that, I ain't taking no chance with no music because I already know they'll copyright you for that music too. Anyways, let's see what else I wanted to say. That's it. I think my phone only gonna allow me to record for 30 minutes, then it's gonna go out. But I'm at six, no, I'm at uh, 26 minutes right now, y'all. So I guess I'm gonna end this before my phone click out on me. Mm -hmm. 26. All right, y'all, but it's been nice. I thank y'all so much for watching. Tuning in. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. And y'all already know y'all better, you better keep God in your life. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can say. If you ain't a person that know God, get to know him. Hey, it won't hurt. If you're used to know him and you, something happened in your life and all of a sudden you don't, you know, you just ain't feeling it no more. Hey, just put your foot back up in there. Step back up in there. Step back up in there. Yeah, because he forgives us for everything. As long as we on this earth, you can be forgiven. Nah, some things cannot, but I ain't going to do that. Y'all ain't going to give it like that. So it, it ain't up to me to to decide who go to heaven or who go to hell or nothing like that. It's up to you, me, and all of us individually. Guess what? Y'all have a wonderful day. Night, morning, evening. Whatever time zone it is in your area. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.